We have uh, five state certified driver's education instructors. We offer eight hours of classroom instruction. We offer um, six hours behind the wheel and 12 hours in the car observation for each student. It's 10 times better than what your parents will teach you. Uh, and these teachers are like certified. Uh, they've been doing this for years uh, and they know like what to say, what to do uh, in case of certain things. So I would say to take this class if you want to do well on your test. I would recommend um, any student um, that is wanting to um, develop their skills or sharpen their skills. Um, they, many students already have their permit and uh, some, some do not. When I went into driver's ed, I thought like, for my parents, I thought I knew most of the stuff. But after I came out, there's still a lot of stuff that I didn't know and that they taught me. We've had students as young as 15 and I've had them as old as 45, 46. After coming out of it, I realized that like everyone should really take it because it's a really good class and like, uh, you know, it's good for everyone really. We typically start um, just a few days after school gets out in May, okay, with uh, driving. And then you, we have uh, two different classroom days to choose from. And we always kind of uh, set that date according to when uh, summer school starts. So if you're in summer school, you could choose the day uh, in the classroom before summer school starts. And then, you know, if you're not in summer school, um, it doesn't really matter which of those two days that you would choose for the eight hours of instruction in the, uh, the classroom. Um, so we start driving uh, fairly close to when school gets out so we can finish in the month of June. I was afraid that since I was taking driver's ed, everyone would think I was a bad driver and that I needed to take it. So that was kind of my biggest fear of mine. But then after it, I kind of realized that any type of person like would take it, people who've never driven or people who have driven a lot. When I drive with my mom, she's always scared, even if I'm doing like a good job. Uh, it was more pressure to do good, I guess, because you don't know the person and you don't want to like scare them, I guess, with your driving. Uh, and you... Uh, with my parents, they're always like just the little tiniest things could be wrong or basically like how they drove or how they learned to drive. They were trying to show me where he was just trying to teach me in my like a different way that worked for me. This class was like a whole new like world. Like it was like hands on, like defensive driving, uh, the rules of the road. I uh, like I was taught to be like calm, like, like um, so I went in there like just like relax, like if something bad were to happen, like I like just like stopped, you know, like I breathe and like. We start out in the parking lot, uh, getting you familiar with the car. Um, and then in the parking lot, you know, testing your ability to uh, um, manipulate the wheel, turn left, turn right, put your blinkers on um, and operate the uh, gas pedal and the brake pedal. Once we're comfortable there, we progress out to residential areas and then to busier streets after that. And eventually, you know, after uh, lesson or during lesson 12, we're out on the interstate and, and the highways. I thought it was gonna be a lot more driving in like parking lots, which really wasn't. Uh, I only drove in a parking lot for like 10 minutes maybe, and then they took me out on the road, uh, which was a pretty big surprise since I had never drove before that. Uh, but they got us driving really quickly and started teaching us stuff about what we're gonna have to do for our test and just driving in general. Well, it's nice to have an adult there because they're always like right by your side so you don't have to worry about screwing up because you know that they're nearby watching you, making sure you don't screw up, so that's pretty good. Whenever I was able to have an instructor with me, it was really nice to have someone help me understand the basics of driving. And whenever I was finishing with the class, it was, I learned so much more and I spent much more time driving than I would have. In that six hours of behind the wheel instruction, there is 12 lessons, each of them obviously 30 minutes long, and each of them tailored to the student. Once we find out what their skill is, we can uh, progress through and we've got different objectives for each and every lesson. Um, each student gets a Missouri Driver's Guide booklet 
and um, they have some homework to do during the program. Each of them um, in their booklet will have a chapter test. I think there's 14 chapters in the, uh, the driver's guide and they've got to find the answers to each of those chapter questions. So that forces them into the uh, driver's guide learning Missouri state law. I was very intimidated with parking because I was always afraid with hitting other cars or like accidentally not paying attention to one side, but turns out at the end that's the thing I was able to master first was parking. Parallel parking became like a whole lot easier. I like, I've heard like before this class like people like hate parallel parking, but that was like the only portion like I did really well on the test. We do everything that's required in to pass your uh, your Missouri test for your license. They kind of put, try to put you in situations that you might not be in every single day. Like maybe if you're coming up on a red light and it all of a sudden turns green, they would tell you, they'd kind of just show you how to handle that and not to slow down and just kind of keep going. Or if it was you were coming up on a green light and it turns yellow, they would tell you kind of how far back and all that stuff you'd need to break. I'm like, I looked forward to these classes. Uh, like, I just got off summer school and I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's go do some driving, Mr. Forsman, woo!